Have some more goulash, Eddie. Thanks, Madam Y, but five helpings is more than enough. You can say that again. I'm full. That was delicious. I hope you saved room for dessert. I made a special... Uh-oh. Prime Evil is up to something. When my crystal ball flashes, it's Prime Evil. When it's red like this, it means trouble. Big trouble. Let's see what Prime Crime is doing. And that will keep those... those... Ghost bunglers out of my way? Gee, your badness. <laughs> How can that help you back in 49 BC? Very simple, brat rat. Because I said so. Can I ask a question? What is it? If, uh, the Roman ghost Marcus Phantomus is going to help you in ancient Rome. <laughs> what are we going to do, Great One? You're going to do what I say. Is that clear? Yes, it's clear, your boldness. Good, now get your act together. I must tell Marcus Phantomus to capture Caesar's wreath. You heard the boss. Get your act together. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. He's after Caesar's wreath. What is Caesar's wreath? Long, long ago, one of my great ancestors was a famous fortune teller. In fact, she was Caesar's personal fortune teller. Did she ever meet Cleopatra? Please, Eddie, let Madame finish your story. She warned Caesar of a danger, and her warning saved his life. To thank her, he gave her a magical wreath. A oh, magical wreath! Wow! The wreath has been part of my family ever since. And now, Prime Evil wants to steal it. Who has that wreath now? I do. This wreath gives me the power to see things in the past, present, and future. If it got into the wrong hands, like Prime Evil's, it would be awful. But Prime Evil would never find it here. He won't try to steal it from here. He's going to go back in time to ancient Rome, and he'll steal it there. That means he could change the history of the Roman Empire. More than that, Jake. With this writ, Prime Evil could change the history of the world. Yeah, I'll explain one more time. Prime Evil wants us to clip GB's wings so it can fly, right? Uh, right. So, if it can't fly, it can't go back in time, right? Uh, right. So, if it can't go back in time, the ghost bumblers won't be in Marcus Phantomus' way when he snatches Caesar's wreath. Now, let's get to it. Boys. I can't let Prime Evil get away with this horrible plan. I'm going to go back to the past and try to stop him. And we're going with you. But... but it could be very dangerous. That's what friends are for. Thanks, boys. Let's go pick up Tracy and then on to ancient Rome to the year 49 BC. Oh, we're gonna get into trouble. I can feel it in my joints. If I tell the boss you chickened out, you'll feel it in more than your joint. Okay, okay. But don't say I didn't tell you something's going to go wrong. Look, all we got to do is make sure the ghost buggy can't fly anywhere. So what could go wrong? <laughs> Take a look for yourself. Come on, let's hide. <laughs> Come on, GB. We've got work to do. <laughs> Let go of me. Oh, 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 it's you guys. What a relief. I don't believe it. GB's glad to see us. You okay, GB? I <laughs> had the weirdest dream. Scared Stiff and Bratterat were plotting to puncture my tires. 
that is weird. Yeah, they wouldn't dare come around here. You can stop shaking now, you metallic mouse. We'll have to take care of GB and Ghost Command. You'll have a... Well, what are you waiting for? Come down from there. Uh, uh, oh, I'm stuck. That's better. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go again. That's my left arm by your elbow. That's funny. My nose is twitching. There's ghosts around. Maybe your nose is practicing. I feel it too, Jake. We better get going. Ready, Tracy? Okie dokie. Come on, guys. Let's suit up. Let's go, go, Call ye yourselves the Car Busters. GB could use another muffler, Tracy. Over his mouth. <laughs> ha ha ha! Yourself, you big ape. Set the time grids. Come on. There's no time to clip GB's wings. We'll have to go back to ancient Rome with the Ghost Busters. <laughs> Where are we going this time? <laughs> There it is! Ancient Rome! Hey, look! A football field! That's Circus Maximus. They hold chariot races there. Prepare for landing, Tracy. Okey-dokey. Well, I'll be. That looks just like your wagon, Madam Y. It is my wagon! It's been in the family for centuries. Let's go talk to those gypsies and tell them why we're here. We'll need their help. Oh, my aching bones! Come on, you iron head! We've got to clip GB's wings! Who's that? Anyone there? Let's get out of here. We'll have to think of something else. I uh, guess I'm hearing th 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 things. And if Prime Evil steals the wreath, our family will be ruined. The world will be ruined! That's the funniest story I've ever heard. Got any more? <laughs> you really don't expect us to believe that. <laughs> For a while, I thought she was telling the truth. But it is true. I've been expecting you. I saw it in the cards. Yeah, <laughs> Tanya's cards also said we'd be treated like kings when we got to Rome. <laughs> First thing tomorrow morning, we'll try to see Caesar and tell him the story. That will be too late. But he won't be arriving in Rome until tomorrow. Then we must find him tonight. Hitch the horses. <laughs> Get through this mob, Tanya. Make way for Caesar! Make way for Caesar! And make way for Caesar's fortune tellers! Halt! No one steps on the street until Caesar passes. We've come a long, long way to see him. Why aren't we moving on? What's holding us up? We are fortune tellers. We came to warn you. Don't use the old bridge tonight. You said we. Who else is with you? We are! All of you are together? Yes, great Caesar. Arrest them! I've never met a fortune teller yet who wasn't after somebody else's fortune. But you don't understand! <laughs> Get your hands off me! 
You must believe us. Bolt, is something wrong, Great Caesar? We are fortune tellers. We came to warn you. Don't use the old bridge tonight. Are you feeling all right, sir? Well, uh, yes, I'm fine. We will go the long way, not across the bridge. But, sir, it is safe. 400 of our men crossed it moments ago. Perhaps it is, but there was something about that woman. It, 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 it's falling! The gypsy was right. But even if we busted out of here, Eddie, we still wouldn't have Madame Wise wreath. Shh, someone's coming. All of you, come with me. Oh, hold! Who goes there? I'm taking the prisoners to the serpent room. Oh, all right, you may pass. Did you hear that, Trace? The serpent room? Uh, that means snakes. Uh -oh. We better bust out of here. Not yet, Eddie. Too many soldiers. Besides, it might be better than the dungeon. Then again, it might be worse. <laughs> Wow! Come in. First, I'd like to apologize. I didn't believe you when you warned me, but the bridge fell into the river just as you said it would. I'm thankful you weren't hurt, Great Caesar. And I'm thankful none of my soldiers were hurt. You saved us all. To show you my appreciation, Cleopatra gave this gold wreath to me. She said it has magic powers. I'd like you to have it. Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! I like the sound of that. Here's our chance to get that wreath. Oh, but didn't Primeval say we should clip JB's wings so Marcus Phantomus could steal it? You boat brain! How do you think Primeval will treat us if we grab the wreath? Oh, pretty good. Right. Pretty good. Now you stay up here out of trouble while I blow myself up into an apparition that'll scare those gypsies out of their wits. <laughs> well, what's wrong, Tanya? I don't know. All of a sudden, I felt a cold chill in the air. The wreath! Where did you put it? Oh, thank goodness. For a moment, I thought it was lost. This does have magical powers. I feel... Uh, uh... Tanya, watch out! It's a fat bread around. <laughs> yes, let go of me! You You big... You got him! It is Brad Rat! I'll help you, Brad Rat! Ah! Quick, after him! Get the dematerializer, ready? Get him, Jake! Watch out, Stiff! Why, my wife will never believe this. Thank you! I'll take my wreath back! This slimy little weasel stole it from us! Stole it from you? <laughs> What's the likes of you doing with a gold wreath like this? Unless you stole it. That's not true. We didn't steal it. It was given to us by Caesar. <laughs> by Caesar? What a joke. <laughs> Please, give it back. I'll tell you what. You can have your golden wreath back, if you win it. It will be the prize at tomorrow's chariot race. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to build a chariot. We can use my wagon. What do you think, Trace? Can you make a gypsy wagon into a racing chariot? Okay, okay. Chariot race? You bunglers, can't you do anything right? Should we go and steal a couple of horses for you, boss? <laughs> no! I want
want you to do what I told you to do. Make sure GB can't fly. Fortunately, Marcus Phantomus is still in Rome, and he has the fastest chariot in the ancient world. <laughs> the ghost busters will give up with a whimper when they see him. With Primeval's robot horses, I can't lose. <laughs> Especially in a race with that! <laughs> chariot race, noble Caesar. That's funny. This wreath looks familiar, and so do you. It is. And I am. But you wouldn't believe how it got here. Well, I'm happy to give the wreath to you all once again. You've earned it. Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! Oh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> hey, hey, hail Caesar! Hey! Hi, everybody. In today's story, bad old Primeval thought he could control the world once he got Caesar's wreath. Sure. The wreath could see into the past and the future. But there's an easier and better way to find out what happened in the past and what might happen in the future. Oh, yeah? What's that? Oh, it's called knowledge, and you don't need any magic to get it. It's in books and paintings and music and plays. <laughs> you know something? For once, Scully is right. 